I must have been a boy of 11 at that time. I was in the 6th standard and it was uh, in 1957 as everybody knows that the first communist ministry was formed in Kerala under comrade EMS Nambudri part that was precisely the time when I also read the communist manifesto for the first time not that I understood everything that the manifesto said but gradually the relationship grew I must have read and reread the manifesto at different stages in my life and by the time I reached college especially when I joined uh, Maharaja's college as, as a postgraduate student I happened to read the communist manifesto in in English and by the time I had also begun to read other works by Marx and Engels including Das Kapital and the various other works of philosophy and of economics and this knowledge helped me to understand communist manifesto better and to understand to uh, the mechanics of the and the dynamics of the class struggle uh, in india uh, as well as uh, other parts of the world and by the time i was already a kind of young communist i was part of the students federation of, of india uh, which had a unit in kerala 2 and i was even a candidate supported by the students federation in the maharaja's college union elections then i came out of the college and became a lecturer in a, in a college in my own place and later in another college a little away from my place in a town and by that time i was reading more books on communism and on history not only by marx and engels by various other kinds of thinkers who had appeared after marx and engels i was reading you know thinkers like uh, antonio gramsci who had a very deep impact on my way of understanding uh, communism and and various uh, other historians who were impacted by communism including indian historians like um, Irfan Habib and Romela Thapa and Aras Sharma and D.D. Kosambi and quite a few others and uh, I uh, and meanwhile I was again reading the communist manifesto along with the other major communist thinkers. 